Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a cooking video, uh, trying something new today. Um, hopefully you guys like it. So we're gonna be cooking a steak, egg, cheese, bagel sandwich, I guess you could say. So, alright, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, take your eggs, set them down. And get your bowl. You want to crack them into the bowl. So make sure you don't get any of the eggshell. Do the camera. Kind of professional. You'll never be as good as me, but like you can try. Don't try not to make any mess. You want to immediately dispose of these because you don't want to make a mess. Or wash your hands, not to being careful not to infect any of the other other food with the rawness of the eggs. You want to get a fork of some sort. You want to scramble the eggs, you know. You just want to make it so there's about one solid color throughout the entire bowl. So maybe like 20 seconds of this should be good. Maybe a little bit more. Alright. Set that down to the side. So she looks something like this. Now you're going to want to turn on your... Stove. Even this Pour it in. Now, since you're trying to make a scrambled egg sandwich, what you can do, or what you're supposed to do anyway, you can do this with like a fork or a spoon, but you don't have to. Every once in a while, you just want to like move it around, make sure it doesn't end up looking like an omelet, because that'd be bad. So, you can set this down. It won't drip since it's a high octane spatula just let that sit for a second so we don't have any steak lemon yolk, so this is the next best thing we're going to take that onto our other pan we're just going to pour some on sure every so often you're moving this around I forgot pan so that's going to be a big pain in the ass um shit Hold on. Alright, so we're just going to use butter on the second one. Make sure you get all of it moving around, otherwise it's just going to not turn out very well. So the eggs are pretty much done now. Probably should have done this in the other order, but that's okay. I'm gonna turn this on high. Got your butter in the pan. 
I just gotta let that sit for a moment. Make sure it can get everywhere. A nice little trick is that if you're not planning on taking the eggs out immediately and putting them on a plate, you can just, once they are completely done cooking, you can just like take them off and they'll continue cooking outside, like off the burner because how hot the pan is. That's a fun fact if you didn't know. Um, take your spatula, spread it around the pan a little bit before it's actually melted, just to like speed up the process. You don't have to though, but I'll do it for the video. I don't know how the fuck to edit. Um, it's starting to melt quite a bit. Um, did a little bit overboard, but that's okay. I'll end up soaking into the meat, so it won't end up being too much. A lot of it will stay in the pan, though. It's mostly just so it doesn't stick, so it's all okay. Just wanted to see if it was still hot. It's very hot. Um, it's gonna continue on here. All right, so now you got a little bit of steam. Just go ahead. Add your frozen steak. So we can just let that sit for a minute. Break apart, you know, the pieces that are stuck together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this bagel, break it apart, put it in the microwave, set it on bagel, and then we'll get back here. Um, you can clean it up a little bit if you want. You can hear it sizzling a little bit, which means that the butter is, you know, completely melted, starting to boil off. You're going to want to spread the meat around so it can absorb some of that so it doesn't get burnt. Working good. I'm going to put some of the stuff away. This is the bowl we use for the eggs. Rinse it out. Constantly want to be moving it around so it doesn't get stuck and burned on one side. The eggs are just chilling for a little bit. The pan's still very hot, so they're still, like, keeping that temperature. I'm only doing this because stupid fucking Panera doesn't deliver till 11 today, so, you know, fuck them. You want to occasionally feel it. So it feels pretty cold on most of them. I'm gonna let them cook a little bit longer. That's straight vodka, by the way. Just kidding, it's lemonade. If you wanna check your bagel just in case. As you can maybe see, oh, hold on a second, I have an idea. Oh. So it's brown on one side, so we're going to want to turn the bagel when we put it back in. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. We just probably put them in for like a couple minutes. Looks like the steak is about done. So once the bagels come out in maybe like 30 seconds, we can start plating. So 
I'm gonna turn the burner off, but I'm gonna leave it on just so they can stay warm. So, you know. There's that. You can see it's pretty it's pretty much done. The eggs as well. I'm gonna get the bagels out. Got your bagels. Pretty much brown everywhere. Except for little bits and parts. Um, what you can do is start scooping it up. Oh, I was gonna butter the bagels. So I'm gonna do that. Give me one second. I'm gonna use a fork since it's already out, a lot easier. Works pretty well, pretty easy. Motion roll up. Alright, so now we're plating it. It's gonna be a sandwich, so we can just, you know, plop it all on. Too late. Russian roll up. Alright. Start putting the steak on the bagel. So, we've begun plating the sandwich. Nice amount of steak and eggs there. I try to use everything we made so we don't be wasteful. Good. So what a lot of people like to do is they like to put their cheese in their eggs while it's cooking. I personally like doing that, but my dumbass fucking forgot. So we're just going to add them afterwards. Hopefully it works out pretty good. So here's the finished product. Since we um, worked pretty hard cleaning up while we were making it, we don't have too much of a mess to clean up, just a couple pans. It worked out pretty good. Grab my drink. Shut it in the fridge. I'm gonna work the kitchen table. So, the effect is, it's all hot, he's trapped in there, some of the cheese is starting to melt, probably see it. 
Um, looks good. Pretty messy though. Um, it's what you get when you don't, um, you're not a chef. But, this recipe is pretty good. You just need your steak. You can place your steak with like ham, sometimes turkey, you know, that kind of thing. Pretty good. Maybe roast beef, even. Um, so, now we're just gonna take our first bite. It has no taste at all because I forgot to put any type of seasoning on it, so I'm just eating plain eggs and steak. <sighs> um, I'm going to try to save this with some salt and pepper. I'll bring it back. Actually, I'll bring the camera with me. I don't know where the fuck mom keeps salt and pepper. Kind of is in a different place every day. It's okay though. Hair's kind of messy, looking weird. It's okay. So now we got salt and pepper on. I'm trying to put on some of the stuff that fell off. Alright. Taking another bite. I think it will be a little more flavorful. Sorry about that loud noise. Let's see if it's uh, tasty. Definitely quite a bit better. T tastes a lot more flavor, so definitely don't forget to season it. It's pretty good. I'll just let you see what it's like to take another bite. Pretty fucking delicious is what it is. Let me know down in the comments um, <clears throat> if you guys like this sort of type of video, like food reviews slash making food. I know quite a bit more often. This is probably one of my longest uploads, so so let me know. Because I'm totally down to doing more of these. Pretty fun. I like sometimes cooking is pretty fun, and I get to eat a nice meal afterwards. But we only cook for ourselves, never our families. Ever. Don't fucking do that. Pretty good. So, that in the video here. Um, still got a little bit more sandwich to enjoy. So, um, yes. <clears throat> what I used is I used sharp cheddar cheese, eggs. I scrambled them in a bowl. Bagel, toasted, so it was lightly brown, a little bit crunchy. It's, I don't know if I said steak. Definitely the cheese I said. And that, well, I, I said everything. Salt and pepper. So, 
quick recap. Eggs scrambled. Um bagel toasted. Steak um warmed up on pan. And cheese. Um you can buy the cheese while you're scrambling the eggs if you want. I'll spring it up pretty good. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Just don't comment down what you want to see next. Um maybe if there's five comments and one of the videos is a good idea. I'll even do the video that you want. So Really, I'm okay with anything. Just let me know in the comment section. Later.